And what I want you to do is I want you to go around and sniff each member and see who smells the sweatiest and the worst. Wow, that's a horrible idea. I know, start with Keith. <laughs> no. Worse. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> can, can, can I can, can we just exclude Keith? Nope. <laughs> Not Keith goes first. <laughs> can I just say Keith wins? And, nope. And, Not, and end it? <laughs> give it a little taste test. Go ahead. Yeah, get a little taste. <laughs> and people can watch this happening on the webcam. Oh, I bet. I just, yeah, really. Uh, okay, that's, that's, that, that's pleasant. <laughs> oh, it's pleasant, or, is it? Yeah, no. Oh, jeez. Yeah, you guys are you guys are all good. Yeah, no, they all smell fantastic. Sniff it's Rob, get nice and close. Sniff Rob. Oh, nice. Yeah, I appreciate that. Are you wet now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's wet now. Yeah, I'm wet now. Maybe someone should be shoving his head in people's armpits, giving him a little pit stop. That's pretty nasty. You can have that. You can Joe, you haven't sniffed everyone yet. I'm working on it. Come on, big, big, long sniffs. I don't want it any longer, no. I'm actually making my way out the door here. Dave stopped him. He's in. Thanks. You didn't get Jason yet. Yeah. I know what I'm doing. Hang on. That's true. You are wearing a t shirt. Push him in. Push him in. Apparently, I'm worse than he is, so I'm helping. Yeah, I changed my shirt. I was a nice guy. Go on, Joe. Come in here. We might have treats for you. Okay. After you get done sniffing everyone. Oh, God. Give Jason a second. I got a clean shirt. You got a clean shirt? Yeah. Oh, you're dry. Thanks. Yeah, you know, you're dry too. You're not that bad. Clean, clean, clean. Oh, nice. <laughs> I think you're sweatier than me. Probably. All right, so who's the worst? It's, it's definitely in this region over here. <laughs> so either Rob or Rocco. <laughs> Rocco ferments, I think it's a... <laughs> yeah. Come on, give them both a good sniff again and see. Oh. <laughs> Bury your face down there in his chest. <laughs> oh, this is... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so, Joe. Yeah. Who, who is who is smelling the worst? <laughs> Come on, you can do it. You can do it. You're tough. You're hardcore. Don't puke on the mic. Joe, mic's over here. Joe, oh, Joe. Right Rocco. I do. That means Rocco rocked the hardest tonight. That's right. He did very well. Who smelled the best, Joe? You did. Yeah. Okay. I don't, I don't think that. I don't think you. No. Um, I'm gonna go with. Dave. Dave. Probably Dave. But he did before. Before I. I, I helped oh, him. I see. You got him back to the way he should be. Yes. Did you check for the thing I told you to check for? All right. Good. We'll, we'll worry about that later. You guys are gonna do some acoustic stuff for us, huh? Yes. Don't shake your head yes on the radio, Keith. <laughs> you can't well, I was shaking my head yes. Can, 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 can I shake his head yes on the radio? I can't see you. Yes. I can't get up to, to adjust to you. All right, so uh, we'll do some acoustic stuff. Are hanging? Is heart going to help? Yes. yes. Well, I eat, but I'm scared. What? I'll do it. And what, what just happened? <laughs> yeah, Rob just nice. him off. Don't hurt. I mean, he's hungry. Is he gonna eat it? Oh. <laughs> Rocco just ate them off. All right. Rocco is also now the most hardcore member of your band. Right. He gets hungry. How did that taste? It tastes kind of dry. Dry. Okay. Let's good. Good. Let's get. I guess first we'll do. Uh, we're gonna do a cover. Uh, Actually, Rudy can't fail by the Clash. We'll give it a shot. Ready?
go. Here we go. There's whiskey in the basement. Here we go. Just listen to that music, share the floor. Oh, listen to that music, share the floor. Yes, listen to that music, share the floor. We did we just, had a lot of whiskey on that floor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Keith, tell us the story about the last time we played the basement. Uh, well, it was like a bunch of old friends from like uh, the old punk days. Get the uh, microphone in front you. of your oh. face. Like the old, old, old punk days. Like a bunch of uh, friends of ours from Richmond came down. And we just decided to whoop it up. Everybody came all drunk and going crazy. And, uh, we started Keith playing, and then Keith fell down. He hit John in the head with his guitar. Oh, yeah, yeah, John oh, in the head. Yeah, it, was, it, was a, it was a pretty crazy night. Yeah, we started like uh, sword fighting, and John fell on the floor. <laughs> sword <laughs> fighting with their guitars. Oh, oh okay. I'm glad you added that. Yeah, yeah thank you. <laughs> I was just so pumped up. I was like, yeah, sword fighting. Uh, Jones <laughs> uh, the guitar taken out. What else happened? Keith decided to jump in the mosh pit. How did that go for him? Uh, uh, pretty good, I guess. I, I, I was saturated and I was covered with uh, films and Did you everything. kill anyone with the bass? Yeah. Not really. It was like, I think I had to clean the bass thoroughly and myself thoroughly because like, yeah, I took two gross. showers because I was <laughs> that covered with film because the place just got completely filthy. Yeah, wow. but it was awesome. You know, we need some more of that around here. Yes, absolutely. Filthy rock and roll. We left and we apologized. Like, we tried to apologize, but people that worked there had so much fun that they, they're like, don't worry about are you, it. Are you playing the basement again soon? We yes, are, uh, August 20th. Okay. Actually with Hangman's Heart, Royal Dano, and Dancertron. Um, oh, Dancertron, wow. Yeah. Haven't heard that name in a while. Mm-hmm. Are you okay, Joe? Are you scared? I am. Do you need to be over here, Joe? I need a piece of pizza. Why, why, why don't you go behind <laughs> Keith? Can we kick him? There you go. That's creepy. Hang on, I'm not done being creepy yet. Yeah, it just got creepy. Okay. No. Oh. <laughs> Joe, can I say teabag on the radio? <laughs> oh, I guess so. Bad. Apparently. <laughs>
happened to either band on stage since the last time you've been here? Um, Besides, he fell off the stage. Did he fall off the stage well, too? He fell, no, he fell he into also the stage. Fell on the he stage. jumped. Yeah, okay. okay. He fell in the stage. So we know yeah, all about he that. Fell on Man's you got park, something? A couple of those guys were there. I've got something. It doesn't implicate anybody. <laughs> nice way to start. Yes, isn't that a good way to start? Why you like No, I'm just I'm just staring vaguely that way. I'm I'm staring vaguely that way. We played a show in Binghamton at, <laughs> what, what was the name, Fitzy's, Fitzy's Pub in Binghamton. Nice little place, punk show, we just get up there and go, and there's this pillar with a table around it about 10 feet away from the stage. We're playing, I look over there, and there's this guy tapping on the table. And I can't figure out why he's tapping on the table in the middle of this song. Until he bends down and snorts his line. <laughs> and Wait, was that the guy in the wheelchair? No, there was no, not. The no, the guy in the wheelchair said wait. he could beatbox and he wouldn't oh, do it when I gave him the go. mic. So he's not in the band. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, he also. The guy with no legs said he could play drums. Okay. Sure. We asked him how he played the kick and he wouldn't tell us. He, he just he, left. He, 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 only had one leg and he played pretty good drums. Oh, what? No, you, oh, yeah, what are you one, talking one about? Arm. Oh, one arm. That's right. Oh, man. Well, I don't know. Was he missing the entire leg or just half the leg? Uh, both at about the knee. Yeah, so he could put a, a prosthetic on and probably play the drums. That's true. He didn't have them with him, though. He was. He kept saying, I can beatbox. Here's the mic. No, I can't do it now. I can play the drums. <laughs> only Here, when hop the behind the kit. Only when the no. moon is full. <laughs> yes, I can't do that now. Maybe he didn't have enough coke because that one guy sort of... Oh, yeah, the other guy with all the... Yeah, <laughs> that other guy Terrible. too. What Terrible. about you guys? Any stories? Not like that. <laughs> You haven't had the guy snorting coke in front of you while you're playing yet? You, he was tapping on a table at one of your shows. Yeah, I'm like, that's... Why, why is he holding his license or credit card or something? Oh, okay. There we are. He didn't think so, he was keeping beat? The story's pretty funny, but... As a, it's not with Hangman's Heart. It was our old band. Uh-huh. Is <clears throat> it a Wego, right? Wait, wait we are playing in a Wego. Which old band? Uh, Scar Theory. Scar Theory, okay. We go down to play in a Wego, a Wego, New York. So we go down to play... Never been down there. So you go in there, it's like a cafe. It's a big open cafe, big stage up there. We, you know, a couple bands play, then we get up there. Everybody's having a good time. We're playing, there's just one dude on a bench. In front of us, passed right out like this. <laughs> nice. <laughs> we're just playing to him. So we're just, ah, getting his, he, he's not waking up, you know, anything, so. And we look down, he's just got a big urine stain going down his face. <laughs> <laughs> so we get on playing, and the owner's like, you gotta get your friend out of here. It's like, he's not our friend. He just came in. So we named him Martin Van Uren. They asked us what his name was. Yeah, we asked Martin. us what his name was. We're like, oh, that's Martin Van Uren. <laughs> So we had to drag him out in the streets of Owego. And you just, just leave him there? He stumbled down He's the just like this down the middle of the street. <laughs> 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 so you kind of just pointed him in a direction and kind of wound him up and hey, let him go? He just went that way. <laughs> That's, awesome. That was awesome. That was awesome.